what I was saying to that. So it's warrior against shaman. Shaman. So they are mulligan, I believe, because then he's missing a card. Yeah. Oh, uh, let me wait. Let me wait real quick. Hey, he has win axe. He does have win axe. That's always a good sign. Yeah. When he also you win ten percent of the time when you draw this card. You mean ten additional percent, or do you just only win ten percent of your games with war axe? <laughs> what? Always win ten percent, dude. Always win ten percent. That sounds terrible. So your opponent wins ninety percent of the time. Yeah. It looks like a garbage deck to me. It, it looks like it's Dragon Warrior. Yeah, it's Dragon Warrior. And then we see Dr. Stang playing the Evolved Shaman. I, I, I personally love the Evolved Shaman. Let's see how it fares against the um, uh, Dragon Warrior. I'm gonna see the uh, coin this turn. We're gonna really? See... I feel like it, he can save the coin. He can definitely save the coin. He can use it to coin into like a Executor or something like that. Well, I would've liked the coin because you get the blood to air, develop a 2 2 and go off the tunnel trap. Mm. I mean, totem will. But we're just gonna see the Alex Shaw champion take out the uh, Bell Power totem. Mm. And you're really far on the board. So, yeah. Yeah, pretty far. Pretty far. Yeah, I feel like he does. No, he can He can also go uh, Rock Rider and into the Orchid Horror Rider for the clear if he wants to. But, yeah, yeah but he can like... gain super advantage if he gets a taunt yeah, or uh, a. Or, uh, yeah, or the uh, totem golem. Well, that's. Huge or Menatide. Wow. Yeah, there's it's the trio, right? Yeah. The three totems that if you get, you're probably happy regardless of the scenario. Yeah. Whatever it's gonna happen this turn. Yeah. We've all we've also been seeing Dr. Stag been be pulling quite good stuff out of the uh Totemic. No 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 Tuscar Totemic. Is it called Tuscar Totemic? Tuscar Totemic. Yeah, Tuscar Totemic. Yeah. Tuscar Totemic. yeah. What a tongue twister. Is it? Yes. Because I can say it three times fast. Really? I'm not going to do it now because it sounds retarded. I call it really shit. That's hard to attempt. That's hard to attempt. That's hard to attempt. Alright. Solid it's likely the one will stay. Evolve, you say? Yeah. Most likely. Looks like he might go with the evolve this turn. Yeah, it's not bad. You do get a 7 drop. Let's see what kind of 7 drop we're going to get. Oh. That's probably the worst 7 well, drop. Well, not exactly the. Like, I can't see getting any better than that. Like, I don't think you're playing any actual 7 drops in the deck. There is no Boom in this format, so. Yeah. Oh man, if Boom was still in this format, that'd be pretty disgusting. You could evolve that too. Nah, nah, Boom bots are, are not considered as 1 drops, they're like bajillion drops. They do so much tilting. It's not even funny. I would never evolve Boom bots. Alright, so we're gonna see Totem up. Possibly seeing the Argent Horse Rider here using the 5 5 to trade into the 3 6. Let's see a clear board. We'll yeah, I like that. He does have the Bloodlust coming up soon, so if he's able to maintain this board, he is going for lethal. Definitely not bad. Huge. Hmm. Probably gonna see like both executes used here. Or actually, no, you only have to use one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's kind of full ahead this, right? Yeah. That bloodlust was not gonna happen. Just wishful thinking. Wish Need to draw the second uh, evolve. Mm -mm. Lightning storm is good here, I guess. If you can pull it off the uh, the scarab. If not, you just lead straight into the uh, four drop, which isn't that great, but it actually prevents five damage or it prevents uh, nine damage, seven damage in this game. Mm -hmm. Apparently, a friend so. of Doctor Stang's in chat saying that Doctor Stang has a PhD in Hartford, by the way. From Harvard. Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure if that's true. Spot that you just use execute to clear the wall. <laughs> nah. No, no. You're still pretty far ahead on board in this scenario. Yeah. <laughs> I asked. So I asked the guy in chat, how much of it is true? Is that all of it? It's like, Dr. Stank has got to make America great again. <laughs> Duh. How do you feel about that? Not going with Bloodlust, and just going with Manatite Totem? Yeah, Bloodlust. When you say that Hearthstone, you, you make Hearthstone great again instead no, 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 of America. America great again? No, America. He says like, he's got to make America Not sure what a doctor can do to make America great again. Dude, you can do everything, dude. You can cure cancer. 
One doctor by himself to cure cancer. Yeah, man. One step at awesome. a time, man. Have you not heard one step at a time? 14, 18, easy. <laughs> like, oh, that's what? true. Yeah, that, that, that's true. That's true. Yeah, You're I a freaking genius, man. Yeah, I <laughs> Why would it be hard? So, let's see. Is there any scenario? Okay, like, he killed Dragon. Can he actually kill... The... Grom? I want to see the... Uh, yeah, I want to see that evolve. Yeah, evolve. Let's see what 3 drop gets here. Oh. Well, then. Cool. That's the Will our 14 year old PhD back from the sport position. Yes, if Tom goes face with everything. Am I right? That's 12 damage. Okay, good. He is deciding to clear off minion. That would be 6 damage. Yeah, sounds about right. That would have been 26 damage when your opponent's at 24. Mm -hmm. It looks like we're going to have to go clear for this turn. Yeah. Well, but you go. can't do anything about that 9-9. Nine, nine. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, you can't. Just by... Well, I guess you can send the two 5 drops into it, or the two 1 drops into it, but then you have this really big, uh... Imani. Like, what do you even do about that? Does he have a lethal this turn? Who cares? Yeah. He, so that would've gonna, been 30. Because yeah. he's gonna be consistently top decking, so you never know. He has no age. <laughs> no age. So he's immortal. He's immortal. He has enough time. Wait, so he's been a, a doctor for pretty much ever, and he hasn't cured cancer yet? I'm ashamed. Like, obviously the worst doctor ever. Guy is a million, zillion years old, <laughs> and he bad, hasn't man. cured cancer yet. Feels bad, man. Is cancer even the main priority in that scenario? Why aren't we all immortal yet? <laughs> what the hell? I want to be immortal. Well, not really, actually. Nah, uh, Hermes just wants to live another day. Yeah, same. It looks like Temple Mage from Tom. Look at Feral Druid. Or you don't call, uh. What? Yog Druid, Token Druid, right? <laughs> you just call it Yog Druid. Everything. Yeah, yeah, you don't. You don't call it Minion Yog Druid. <laughs> minion Yog Druid. <laughs> so, yeah. L let's just call it. Yeah. We can see the Cold Sorcerer coming down here. I don't know why it calls it the cult sorcerer when it's a female and you should call it sorceress. Cultist? What? Cult sorcerer. That's what it's called. That's you sure a it's a girl? It sounds like a girl. Yeah, she even says sparkles. Or wait! Sparkles! I'm trying to remember what the uh, the actual sound sounds like. I might be listening to the stream in 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, what? Oh, that's a pretty good pickup, right? Yeah, there's oh, no pick. coin. Damn. Yeah, there's no coin. But maybe. Do you even that's Arcane Blast here? Maybe, right? Yeah, I like Arcane Blast. If you want to. And you're picking it off. Yeah. yeah, I like that. But then you have no plays with your actual Flame Wickers, so it's probably just going to be a Fireball coming on. Whatever comes down. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Either a one drop or Forbidden. Yeah. To so yeah, to Flame Waker, flame Waker uh, yeah. Arcane Missiles. Yeah, some crazy combo. But yeah, MK Boss is not bad. It does deny the uh, Flame Waker. Well, kind of. Like, if you're gonna Flame Wake this, then it feels pretty bad. No, I Fire... think Fireball's fair here. Yeah, Fireball's Like, you have nothing else you're doing this turn. I guess the other play is you could actually just trade into the Peddler, or you could just go face, and then... Cabal's Tomb is not bad next time. Mm -hmm. What would you prefer to Drake? Well, I think the Drake is better. Yeah. The Drake is a better tempo play. For this Yogg Druid. Yeah. Uh, Yogg Mage. Ooh. Now I kind of do want to go into Tomb. If you get a bunch of one drop spells, it'd be super sick. Yeah, but he's going for the Drake as. Down first, and then the Soul Fire, yeah, and then the Forbidden yeah. for the extra yeah. three yeah. minions. It also depends or just you... half. Ooh, okay, correct me. Yeah, wrong. typically. But yeah. now you kind of want to just like yeah. slam your. Councilman, and then, well, it looks like he's going with the Soulfire anyway. So maybe he misstepped on the ordering? Or he's just going to leave it. He could definitely leave it. But that, you could get super punished for that, right? Yeah, you can. But, of course, there's not, none of the cards are in there. No Arcane Blast out of some of the builds that we've seen. Uh, no, well, yeah, you see, like, you just instantly lose your MKing bot there. Yeah. There's a possibility. I mean, it, it's a pretty big step, right? Yeah, it's, it's a pretty big, big step, step that he actually just killed the MKing boss, and now he can start dealing with the board. Okay, so if you actually have <laughs> I like this play though. Like, if the flame workers aren't, aren't going to be removed, the Cabalist tomb itself is going to do a lot of work. 
But we're 100% gonna see a soul fire here. I like to see a soul fire here. Second councilman? Hell yeah. yeah. At least on one of the flame wakers. The flame wakers are so threatening, and you have a lot of duplicates in hand, anyways. Aww. Oh, good man. Yeah, I like to yeah, off probably the waker over, yeah, over the Drake, just because Waker is just clear most of the board. Yeah, but now the Drake is going to clear the council band that you just built up. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see the Cabalist Tome or just go straight with the Water Elemental? I, I think I like seeing the Water Elemental this turn, because mm -hmm. then you have a little bit more mana to work with the following turn. Mm -hmm. Instead of just having that one floating, like, so you can play, like, maybe one two cost spell. Yeah. There isn't that many, it's just Frostbolt, right? Frostbolt, yeah. Arcane Blast, uh... And the Frost Elm also is a very sticky kind of creature too, so it definitely will Chatter. do a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah, I actually just like continuously slamming those at this point. Mm -hmm. You probably get multiple value out of them. Mm -hmm. Watch, we're gonna see it die this turn. So, an easy play is a second Water Elemental into Hero Power Ping, maybe even play the Sorceress and not worry about the Cabalist Stone this Ooh. turn. Oh, never mind, you just draw the. Yeah. yeah, I just forgot Torch. You can play the Sorceress with this too, that's the best part. Yeah, such huge Wait, tempo. Did he... No, okay, no, no, he did no, play no, this no. Yeah, the spectator is like a did. little bit. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty good. You have to use two creatures to actually remove the Sorcerer. Um, and if he yeah. doesn't... That's so much mana working with the spells that oh, you're Oh, the Mortal Coil. I, I'd pick up the Mortal Coil. Oh, that was really good. Yeah, Coil, yeah, co trade your uh, Argus Squire, and then yeah. attack base for one. Yeah, especially you keep your Void Walker alive, you, you protect your kind of minions. You can and it works go... perfectly with your Forbidden Flame. Oh, even Flame Mimp too. You can even go with the Tapped into Flame Mimp. I like Tapped into Flame Mimp, not, not using the uh, Forbidden Ritual yet. Yeah, I like that more. Ooh, you, you do have the PO. Ah. Would you use it right now? Oh, wait, no. No, 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 yeah, the 2 2 was just play. It'd, it'd be way too short, like, you yeah. wouldn't naturally kill. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, you can finally pick the arcade missiles. Ooh. Nova? Nova godly, like, here? Yeah, you can use double missiles here. No, well, I was thinking, like, if Nova was good here, because then you could just start building a board, but yeah. I, I like using oh, the uh, the oh. portal on your opponent's face next turn, and then Nova the board, mm -hmm. and they deal with it. I like that. I don't know, I feel like these Forbidden Summonings could have been played a lot sooner for less value. Like, trying to get all seven minions on board just doesn't seem like it's worth it all the time. Yeah. Ooh, he's able to get around not using that power of while. Alright. <laughs> Keep calling it power of while, it's uh, PO. However, overwhelming. But yeah, now we're gonna see the five to face, the Nova. Yeah, Nova, and then potentially using that five drop to actually. Ooh, okay. Oh, Ooh. okay. We're, oh, wait, so maybe he's not using on. Nova this turn? I think you should go to face instead. Yeah, oh, look it's like at that. Yeah, look since at that. the board since, since the board is full, there is absolutely no way. Okay, unless you got like a really weak kind of creature, then fine. But like that's debatable. But I still think this is the proper play. Oh. I mean, there's only so many. Well played. I mean, I, I was ready to do this like two turns ago. It's like, oh, I just gotta wait till turn ten, then bam, slam. Game. So whole reason to use that, Mr. Swipe, but the triple swipes. Yeah. <laughs> like, what a way to go! Way to get into the finals, right? Yeah, gotta do it. Gotta do it in style. Oh man, picking up the wild growth. Teacher's pretty good against you, right? Like that's how you fight the board back. Okay, yeah, he got rid of it. He's probably looking for innovate or something, something to give him an excuse to play uh, teacher on turn two, or even turn one. Actually, a turn one teacher would be pretty sick because then you go into the uh, the wild growth, choosing to do neither. So he's gonna take quite a bit of damage in this uh, imp. And uh, wow, Doomguard and Leroy. I haven't seen that in a while. Doomguard and Leroy. This burst, heavy burst, kind of a uh, zoo deck. So is that like Argent Horse Rider? We already know he's running Soulfire. But yeah, a lot of craziness going down. Uh, so there is still no amazing teacher turn next turn. Probably just see the swipe on the uh, poor little direwolf alpha. Oh yeah, small little direwolf alpha. Ooh, does that change anything? I think that might have changed things somewhat. Mm -hmm. He can pick up an innervate off the raven idol. Ooh, he just chooses to pass. Yeah, because he might need to go and swipe into wrath. That's why he's saving the coin. Well then, like the whole goal of oh, saving it for the teacher is that it was it was better to use the uh, coin wrath on 
turn one, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, he's going in. Because now you're just super far behind. Oh, he's going in. Oh. All in? <laughs> okay, so we're looking for Starfall here. Starfall will save the day. Actually, it doesn't even save the day. Innervate is good. Wait, is it? Is it? The, we already know that uh, Dr. Sink has the Leroy, and it's going to have five mana next turn. Yeah, so. this is going to be a pretty Ouch. quick. Okay, he's choosing to kill off the Imp, which does change the math quite a bit. And then he's going to kill the Wolf and trade the Teacher to the one. Three. So he's left with currently, is Forbidden Summoning just lethal then? Yeah, it could definitely be. But he has the, um... Two, the one... Right? Oh, he even has PO. So yeah, that's plus PO. five, that's three, that's eight damage with, with that. So yeah, he, he needs a PO. So you go PO to Forbidden, yeah, or it's just Lee Rising Yeah, because you have, uh... That's about... That's 10 exactly. That's exactly so he had multiple ways to do it. Like, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the power of overwhelming plus the four, so that's eight damage from uh, the power of overwhelming plus the forbidden summoning. Malfurion mm -hmm. versus Draw. Once again, this is the evolved shaman deck. Not sure 100% how it's gonna work, like against this deck. And then we do, and then Doc I believe Doctor Stank's last class is the priest. And it's a Nazoth Priest deck, which has a lot of value with the um, Resurrex and, uh, I believe, the Onyx Bishop. Mm, yeah, if he doesn't have the Pain, though, he might have a problem with Teacher, so we'll see. Yeah. If he actually gets that far, though. Yeah. Very good chance. Yeah, pretty good chance. He could have a really big first U turn. Yeah. I, like, I, the Shaman's able to put out these incredibly huge big boards yeah, and it's for almost no cost at all. From, yeah. Like, from nothing, pretty much. Yeah. I agree. You agree. Always agree mm. with you. Do you like saving the coin for Drake next turn? Yeah. Yeah, sounds I nice. like that. Yeah, I like that. Looks good. Alright, so two drops. So we're playing the Jewel Scarab. Looking for that three drop. Another Hex. Oh, wait, you should go Brand. 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 Yeah, but definitely Brand. go Brand. 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 You have so much synergy with Brand. Uh, yeah, you have Tuscar Totemic, you have um, the Shield Bearer dude, you know, mm -hmm. the guy who summons a 0-5 uh, shield. Mm -hmm. uh, you also have the Spider, the 1-3, that summons another 1-3. Yeah. So you actually have quite a bit of minions that work with it. And then you also still have another Jeweled Scarab somewhere in your deck. Yeah. You know, I haven't seen his tank from below from the Shaman yet. Grim. Maybe it's on the deck. How, but big below is so good, that's and you're summoning totems like mad anyway, so... True, true. But that's also a possibility, it's not in the deck. Maybe it's replaced by the uh, Prophet instead. Well, yeah, because Prophet's a little bit faster, it's yeah. more reliant. It's yeah. always taking down, and there's turns that you're not always developing yeah. totems. That's, yeah, I feel like there's no point of uh, trading that 1-1 in. Unless he's buffing it, then he wants to trade it into your 1-1, uh, one -one, but if you're gonna buff the healing totem, you're probably tr trading into Drake instead, so there's no point in going. Yeah, there, there's a possibly a brand into um, Abusive, but then that's only 4 attacks, so not really that crazy. So it yeah. looks like yeah, he'll trade into Hex Vandral. This gives him the best board position. I don't know, because like, Vandral just could get crazy, and it probably would've with Nourish. The nourish just because you have such big creatures coming up, you can go into um, each of them or next turn, and you you, you actually can go to no, you could go straight into a Nixia next turn. Yeah, well, I, I I'm just confused. Why didn't he? Uh, he, drew. he ramp, he, but he drew. That are swipe depending on how this board comes down. Mm -hmm. Looks like we might see Brand come down this turn with the hero power, or not, or not. Oh, okay. I think it was a turn too soon. Like he could have waited and gotten like two o. Five shields. Yeah. Oh, playing the Emperor instead. Yeah, it was. Wow, that Emperor is gonna be such a silly. At least in my opinion, they're pretty disgusting. He's gonna be able to kill the brand too, maybe. Maybe. He's choosing not to play the four drop. This. Oh, okay, he's... now he's gonna kill the brand. Yeah, yeah. But oh, this board oh. is gonna be. Ridiculously weak to the, uh, the swipe. Yeah, the swipe. Like if you're, you have to anticipate bloodlust because of a like a spammy deck like this where you've just flooded the board. You have to, yeah, you, you have yeah, to know that you play bloodlust. Four minions. 
I don't know. Whenever the shaman has more than three minions, I'm always a little bit terrified of uh, yeah, bloodlust. Yeah, bloodlust right? If you're able to get three, like three or more minions, like over three minions, then your deck is probably has the potential of playing bloodlust. So it's definitely a good card to play. Mm -hmm. Oh, he didn't even actually save power to the wild for um for the uh, for the Anixia. Anixia. Yeah. yeah, I guess like you don't need it necessarily. Those two wild girls sitting in hand though, mm -hmm. bit awkward at this point. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if he actually put, like, replace the, um... How many 7-drop minions are in this game, question mark? <laughs> Quite a bit, isn't it? I know the 8-mana pool right. is very small, that's why 8-mana is, like, for any random kind of effect. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Ooh. Ooh that's interesting, and yeah, it's pretty good. Like, if nah, Tom is like, actually considering... You, you have to kill the Twin Emperor, right? So you have to use your hero power this turn. So it's Ancient of War. Ancient of War is definitely like, I, the I don't see another place around that. Yeah, Ancient of War is definitely the safer play. But I guess it's definitely the worst. Like, you're not into lethal range if you're considering Bloodlust. Oh, just kidding. Well, you, oh, just kidding, that's lethal. This meta has been solely about tempo and not having it tends to lose you the game. And yeah. fighting back tempo is usually the better strategy. I don't know. I don't think I would ever leave my opponent with the, as many minions as they can. Like, that's always a way to get punished. Whenever you're giving your opponent the options of trades, or even like favorable trades, it's usually not good for you. Mm -hmm. So, I, I like taking the initiative to kill off the Twin Emperor and then develop your own board, your own big mini in here. This allows us, yeah, so now he's like even safe just playing this. I could do this plus four. How much is plus four? Anybody? 18? 18, so he can only get to 22? No, 20. 20 is the best he could actually do. Yeah. Choosing the save four drop, so he is probably going to go with Evolve this turn after smacking face. Yeah. I'll, I'll, is that I'll, abusive in there? I like that. Still gives you the option of hero power as well. Yeah. But yeah, this is a good turn for him. Oh, that's lethal. What? Wow. How did I not see that? Oh, it's because he. Yeah, it's because I had to use the abusive to actually clear. With just one big turn can actually stop the priest in general. Because, uh, because this priest, it also relies on the resurrect and kind of the um, on expression kind of kind of synergy as well. So, let's see how. It yeah, but it takes the priest. Uh, it doesn't take the priest that long to actually get online. Where druid takes a lot longer. True. But double innervate actually does fix things quite a bit. Yeah, true. You could actually get an emperor down. And. It's not going to be dealt with maybe for two turns, mm -hmm. almost guaranteed. Like that is the only answer from the, uh, the priest. Yeah. All right. Let's see. All right. So I'm looking out the um, loot hoarder. I feel like as a priest, you need to do that now, just because you want value of the year resurrect and all the special. And having loot hoarder early in your grave is actually not what you. Oh want to man! See. I think he gave up an opportunity to Drake on turn one. It didn't seem that weak in the long run. Because now you're not draking, you're still just wild growthing, but mm -hmm. I guess this does set him up for like his more in-game like, yeah. you know, cards like Onyxia, mm -hmm. Ancient of War, I mean, you don't actually run that oh. many big minions, right? Oh, That's a good card. That. Look at that. But it could be death this turn, though. That's why I like Drake on turn one. Is then you're actually doing things. Mm -hmm. Like you saw wild growth on turn three. Like you, it's probably not until turn five that your drake is even going to be dealt with. Yeah, true. But yeah, this is actually a pretty big turn for him. Mm -hmm. The zipper is not dealt with. He's got a not even sure what the priest could do here. Yeah. All right. He's he's going to... Just to see what he's going to get. He's going to coin out something probably for the feast of the priest. Funnel cake. Yeah. Funnel yeah. Cake. This is a good minion to trade with. Not much that uh, Tom could do here. Did it vent that? JK, Raven Idol. We're gonna see. You gonna see? Mulch? It. Question mark. Big combos. Oh, force of nature. Uh, nah. Oh, it, it's like Mark yeah, of the Wild. Mark used of the Wild. To Mark keep of the Wild. It alive for... He could have used Mark of the Wild to actually trade in the Feast of the Priest and mm. like, cause your Emperor, if he's not dead, yeah, he still can. Yeah, he's like Emperor is still not dead, and you just get to. Have a big minion. Yeah, you're gonna. You, you even have the option to just attack face for seven here. Yeah. The only way that Doctor Sang is not 
how Mag is at. He needs Ocknai. Ocknai Circle is gonna be a, would the clear, clear that you need. Yeah. Like, maybe it would have been a better option to actually get rid of the second Circle of Healing, because he kept one. Because right, so. then you're just kind of actually catch all your bets on Ar Ocknai and Priest. Alright, play as much wow, four attack minions as possible. Because it's very hard for the priest of themselves to actually move. Well, unless the priest gets picked up, it's... Yeah, his bars are bust. I don't... There's a high chance, man. Arcanine. There's a high chance, let's go. Oh, he feels bad, man. So, and it looks like a legendary. Yeah, so his bars, so his bars are actually is just as good as mine. Non-existent. Yeah, non uh, Okay, so... That swipe is six. Um, you have how much damage on board? So, 6, 13. 6, so that's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, so he's 2 yeah, off lethal. Power. Yeah, hero powered, so that's 2 off lethal. Hey, yeah, that's 2 off lethal. Class. Yeah, he can pretty much go ham with this. <laughs> yeah, just go face and then just hero power face. Yeah, you have to damage to do so. Uh, seems good. Yeah, seems good. I feel like swiping the barns is probably correct too, because then you're losing your Emperor here, but I mean... No, no, you're oh, he's just yeah, gonna play with this hero. Yeah, he's just here. Yeah, that's fine. Never mind. Never mind. It's all good. Yeah, it's all, all good. good. Always good, dude. So now, not even... No, Arcanine would have still been a, an okay draw, but what did he draw? What 3-drop is that? The game oh, it's the play, Injured Blade Master. Oh, he's back. <laughs> Gotta go oh, in style, I failed you the first time. I'm gonna fail you a second time. Yeah, got to go in style, you know. Alright. Alright, Tom going to the finals. Against Mr. Oh. Swipe. 